Hello everyone, you are doing a great job. Happy to see that you have completed the third week of our course on Introduction to Social Media Marketing. You deserve a special appreciation for it. Give a pat on the back. Before we jump to the next week, let us have a quick recap what we learned during this week. As we know, during this week, we focused on Twitter marketing. Firstly, we learned why Twitter marketing is important for businesses in the present day world. The key point that we learned in this section was, Twitter offers unique ways of targeting the audience that you will not find in any of the social media platforms. For example, keyword targeting, where you can target the audience on the basis of keywords that they are searching, using in comments or using in their posts or engaging with the tweets having a particular keyword. Isn't it amazing? Then we discussed in detail how to create and optimize brand profiles on Twitter. The take up was, you cannot create a brand page on Twitter using your personal profiles like we did it in case of Facebook. In this case, you have to create a new profile for your business with your brand name and new login credentials. It will be different account altogether from your personal profile. After having a unique identity on Twitter, now your brand is ready to explore the power of Twitter marketing. One of the most important feature of the Twitter that your business can use is Twitter ads. How to design Twitter ad campaigns? We discuss this process in detail by understanding the interface of Twitter ad manager by designing dummy campaigns with the objective, website clicks and video views. Not only this one, we also discussed how to create the custom audience for remarketing purpose. As there are many ways to create custom audience, I would urge you to explore other ways too to create the custom audience that we haven't discussed in this course. Trust me, you can do it. If there is any doubt, don't forget to post it in the discussion forum. We are there to help you out. Now let us come to the topic of discussion forum for the week that was about the Twitter list. This topic is quite interesting. However, we didn't see many posts from your side. There can be many reasons for this. But it may be because we didn't discuss Twitter ads at all in any of the videos. If this is the case, I am uploading additional video on Twitter list where you will learn each and every aspect of Twitter list. But I want active participation from your side as it is linked to your assessment. Now let us take questions one by one. First we have questions from Abhishek Mishra. Hi sir. Week 3 was a real engaging week yet again. I feel loads of questions were posed on the discussion forum and a lot of interesting ones were also posed. One such question that intrigues me is the usefulness of Twitter as a social media handle and not just limited to Twitter but other social media handles to the society at large. Request you to comment on the same. Oh, well Abhishek. Most of times we talk about how businesses can leverage the power of social media, how individuals can use it for personal branding or to interact with others. But the burning question is, what is the significance of social media for society at large? Yes, we have to talk about it. There are many ways through which we can use the social media for society. Like, social media can play a significant role in education. You will be amazed to know that many platforms have exclusive section for education like on Facebook under Facebook groups you have dedicated tab called guides that can be used to create a full-fledged online course. Similarly on LinkedIn and Facebook we have section for articles that can be used for knowledge sharing. Addition to it we all know the role of YouTube in the education. You can also use the social media to promote the noble causes, building communities, spreading awareness, and many more in the list. Next, we have question from Kriti. Greetings, sir. Sir, there is a very interesting query this week that since the number of users of Twitter are less than Facebook, so we would like to know that the effectiveness of Twitter remarketing as a concept. 
Yes, Kriti. The size of Facebook audience is way bigger than the Twitter audience. I think it's not about the size of the audience on a particular platform. Rather, it is about whether your audience is there on the platform or not. We have very simple logic. Go back to your buyer persona. If your buyer persona is there on a platform, then don't take the risk to skip it. If I want to summarize the Twitter audience in one line, it is Twitter audience is younger, wealthier, and more educated. Twitter demographics may vary from country to country, so check your country before you plan for remarketing. Next, we have a question from Kajal. Greetings, sir. Please highlight the importance of custom audience and how custom audience on Twitter is different from custom audience on Facebook. Thank you. Yes, Kajal. We have already discussed custom audience in detail. Custom audience is a tailored audience created specifically for your business for the purpose of remarketing. You basically create the custom audience based on the interaction of the prospects with your brand. Now, why custom audience is important? The logic is quite simple. They have shown interest in your business by visiting your website, pages, or channels. Now, answer to the second part of your question is, fundamentally, there is no difference in Facebook custom audience and the Twitter custom audience. The only difference is the platform that you are using to create the custom audience. Now, we have last question from Ashu Monga. Good afternoon, sir. During these three insightful weeks, we have come to know that the number of users on Facebook is much more than the number of users on Twitter. On Twitter, we have around 200 million users and on Facebook, we have around 3 billion users. So, so why then we see that more tweets are getting viral as compared to Facebook post? Thank you, sir. Yes, Ashu. I agree with you. Tweets get viral very fast as compared to Facebook post. There may be many reasons for it but I'm sharing one of them. Now, Twitter is widely known for sharing breaking news and instant messages having importance at local and national or at international level. Here, tweets are not personal, rather they are shared, keeping in mind the larger audience. When others see the tweet, if it is important for them, it can be important for others as well. So they usually share it. Now, just think, how many people shared your post on Facebook that is meant for you only. Now, there may be many more reasons. I urge others to comment on this question. So this was a brief summary of this week. Now the last point, start working on your main assignments and other activities as we have to submit it before the last day of the course. So I will see you next week. Have a great day. Happy learning. Thank you.